Hello, my name is Sophia, and I am going to walk you through some of the most used features in Human Anatomy Atlas 2018. If you want an introduction to the app's key features, this is the video to watch. The app launches to this home screen. I'll start with this gear icon in the bottom right of the main menu. In this settings menu, you can change the background color of the app, choose one of the seven display languages available, set the app to always open with the content you viewed during the last session, and turn gestures on or off. This gesture feature is great for lecturing. It adds a highlight to every tap or click. Users on the web access version of the app will have additional features on this menu. The option to make an account and to turn a joystick on or off. The home screen of Human Anatomy Atlas is designed so you can easily browse content using the top bar. These first two options are all the pre-made model set views and quizzes. Under Tours, Favorites, and Note Cards is all the content you create and save. I'll select Views here and show you that there are submenus. You can access regional views of the body or views that focus on organ systems. The other menu options here are for browsing content by type. There are views catered to use in a Gross Anatomy Lab course, cross-sections that pair the 3D models with diagnostic scans and cadaver images, specialty microanatomy models, and 3D interactive models of over 50 common muscle actions. If you'd rather search than browse, select the search box, enter a term, and view a listing of available content. In a traditional textbook experience, you might learn the deltoid muscle by viewing images like this and studying tables that describe details. In Human Anatomy Atlas, search for the deltoid, select a view, and get started. In the content box are details about the muscle. Select the speaker icon to play a pronunciation. Anterior head of the deltoid. The stethoscope icon includes common descriptions. Select the caret to access details. The book icon provides a definition. Notice that this includes origin, insertion, innervation, blood supply, and actions of the deltoid. To see this information in 3D, select the pin icon. There is now a new set of options in the content box. Across the top of this bar are options to see the key information of the muscles. Tap a red pin to see the origin attachment on the clavicle. Select the blue pin to see the insertion on the humerus. The blood supply and innervation options in the menu bring up views that visually display that information. This related content list moves through 3D interactive models of the muscle's actions. Use the exit option to study each action. Human Anatomy Atlas also includes details on bones throughout the skeleton. Select the scapula in this view and see the definition, common conditions, and pronunciation icons. There is also this multicolored bone icon. Use it to access a 3D model of the scapula with key landmarks and descriptions of each. Select Exit to return to the main Gross Anatomy view. Any 3D model you access in the app can be moved, rotated, and scaled to get just the view you want. This can be done with finger gestures on a touch screen or trackpad, or by using a mouse. To show these features, I'll go to the home screen, select Views, and from the regional menu, select this axilla view. Drag one finger to tumble or rotate the model. If using a mouse, click and drag to rotate. Use two or three fingers to pan or drag the model across the screen. You can also hold down the spacebar and use the mouse or trackpad. To zoom in on a touch screen, spread your fingers apart. Pinch your fingers together to zoom out. The same can be done on a trackpad or by using a mouse wheel. Tap or click on a structure to select it. This reveals its content box where you can access information or use the Fade option to see through the structure, or select Hide to remove it from the screen. Select the Isolation icon to see only that structure on screen. Select the icon again to return to the original view. 
a popular way customers use Human Anatomy Atlas, is in parallel with a dissection lab. From the main menu here, I'm selecting Views, and then in the Gross Anatomy Lab, I'll select View 9. Cadaver Lab instructors use the app to prep students for lab. This supine prone option moves the model between the two positions. There is also the option to change from a male to a female model. To remove a group of structures obscuring a view, select a structure. When the content box appears, select the caret next to the structure name to reveal a breadcrumb trail. Here I have the option to select the entire right limb. Once it highlights, I'll use the hide option in the content box to remove the entire structure. Use the dissect tool to quickly remove anatomy. Students use these views to identify structures in a cadaver lab or to study before or after the lab. To take a step back during a dissection, select the History option and tap Undo to get to the previous desired step. To start from the beginning, select the Refresh View option. In some cases, the app is used for a completely virtual or augmented reality lab. I'll go to the main menu, select Views, Microanatomy, and the Eye, and place it in AR mode. All the same interaction tools work here. You can rotate, scale the model, and select a structure to access additional information. This AR feature is available on select mobile devices. Visit our support site for details. Any 3D model set in the app can be edited to create just the view you want. To demonstrate, I'll go to Views, and in the System menu, Respiratory section, I'll select View 5 of the trachea and carotids. You'll notice the thyroid gland is missing from this view. I'll use the anatomy search to enter that structure and add it to the view. I also want to add vasculature to this area. Searching for structures would be a lot of work. Instead, I'll open the system tray. To add just vasculature of the neck region, I'll change from the default whole body icon here to choose just the head and neck region. Then, I'll add the veins and arteries of the region by selecting these system icons in the tray. I can use this same tray to add other anatomy in the region, like the lymphatic structures and the muscles of the head and neck. To save this view, select Save View, name it, and it will be added to the Favorites library. One additional tip about the system tray. I can use it to clear the screen and build up a view. Return to the whole body in the system tray and select all the icons until they are grayed out. The screen will be empty with no models shown. Now I'll select the lower limb icon from the system tray. With the system tray set to that option, I'll select every system icon to turn it to a fully blue state. All available structures are on screen for the right lower limb. I'll have a great view of all the structures of the right lower limb that I can now save to the Favorites library. The Tours feature links a series of saved views into a presentation. From the main menu, under Tours, I'll select Pelvis Comparison to show you an example. Use the forward and back arrows on screen to move through this tour, which links views of the male and female pelvis for a presentation that discusses similarities and distinguishing features. The first step is to save the views you want in your tour. I'll browse through the app and save a series of views of the axilla region. Each time I find one, I'll select the Save View star icon and give the view a name for the tour. These views will be added to the Favorites section of the app. I can also edit and make a view to save. Step 2, I'll go to the Favorites library and check that the four views I want for the tour are there. In Step 3, I'll go to the Tours section and select Start. This shows my Favorites library. I'll select the views in the order I want them in the tour. Then I'll select Save and give my presentation a name. That's it! I can now go to the Tours menu option and launch my presentation.